melee player. Um, beat R and R to get here. So we'll see if he's got the chops to hang with Fizzle here. Oh, that was not. Whoops. All right. Hard um, missed a button. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> no one missed it. <laughs> it's literally 12 percent. Yeah. I'm not worried. So, this is such a hard matchup for Peach. Um, I think Melee's gonna join me and maybe he can speak about this matchup a little bit more, but I'm not sure. So yeah, so Peach just really wants to be very, very close to Puff to do a lot of damage. Yep. And being really close to Puff is one thing scary and a second thing hard to do. Yep. And you know what? Yep. Damn right Fizzle's gonna make it even harder than you. Yeah. It's like, Jumping up is just like <laughs> just jumping at all. It, you mm -hmm. can't you can't like beat back air with any of your jump options. Yep. So it's it's like how do you? Pull a turnip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like there's puffs or there's peaches that like oh is that That's a stitch? That's a, it's a scary looking one. It's like oh wow okay. back air off the top. I think he could have gotten jump turnip throw out of shield to punish that. Maybe, that but pound. oh. <laughs> a bummer. I, I see I see a lot of people, like so many characters, just not punish pound on shield. And I know it has a shit ton of like uh, uh, shield stun, so it's weird to punish, but it's like, I don't know, it's something that I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for. We do both play characters that can punish that pretty easily, I think, yeah. in comparison. But, yeah. I mean, shit, Peach's, Peach's Nair is, is quick, mm. is tied with the quickest nares in the game. Yeah, you just gotta get up there, that's the hard part. I mean, he's not doing bad, right? Like, we've been talking no. about how this matchup is, but like, I think the thing, the other side of this is like, if Fizzle wins an interaction, he's getting just like a back air, and if he doesn't like put them off stage or like actually scare him, then like, that's all it is, it's just a back air. That thing pokes shields. Yeah. He got a jump out, did you see that? Yeah. Get... Okay. I'll grab that Mr. Saturn, yeah. Mr. Saturn, yeah. This could actually, this is actually like, could be like pretty good. It doesn't break shields in one hit is the thing. Yeah. And yeah so yeah. like you get hit with it and then you just immediately like roll away or jump away. You just like don't mess with it. Fizzle's so yeah. smart enough to know that. It's like it's not it's really not worth it. Mm -hmm. All things considered, that rest changed everything, honestly. Yeah. It it took it it, it basically took it from and now he's just same stock uh, Dirt Boy favorite to same stock Fizzle favorite, which in this matchup is is huge, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> It's just like whoever has center for that time being is just like. Yeah, like I'm fine. Yeah, chill. Uh, I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, like they both get hit with fair there. Fizzle's just like, alright, fine. He's thinking next time I up air, up smash. He's, he wants to move towards Fizzle. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm actually surprised they didn't kill. Mm -hmm. Huh. Alright. Alright, he'll have one more chance here. Alright, he has float. Yep. Much better than just having up beat. Yep. He's got to make something happen here, because if he goes down this stock, it's it's going to be very hard to claw back. Especially when the puff is then at low. Ooh, I mean. He's doing it. He's doing something. That was good. That yeah. uh, turf throwing just cover everything where it could be. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get anything off it, but, I mean, sometimes I feel like that's the best you can hope for in this matchup. Is like, just restrict space. Oof. Yeah. That restrict space safely, even if you don't get something directly off it. This is tough. Yeah. What did he do here? Uh, uh, it's hard to say. Well, that's not it. I think he... He, he, he tried he, to throw it so that he could do the uh, the up smash. Yeah, he planned that before, uh, before, it was possible. before he realized oh. the, the platform was above him. Getting up airs like that is actually so important in this matchup for... Mm. Oh, well. Uh, just Getting up airs like that is also important. Mm -hmm. It's he just was, like actually... But these characters are just like very good, at, like getting down and in the air in general. Yep. Either that or wait for an out of shield jump or something. Haven't seen a lot of tomahawks, and now we're seeing them come out in force. Yeah, I mean, it's scaring him, right? It's yep. scaring him to jump now, and now he can just back air. He doesn't. He doesn't have to. You don't have to do anything with the tomahawk. You just have to get them to stop shielding. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna this do anything. This is so. He needs. He needs like twenty percent. Yeah, he does not scary. have enough percent. He, he's doing it right though. He's like doing back airs and like nares rather than throwing it immediately. Yeah. If he trades, he One runs. One more. He runs the. Oh. 
What were you saying, Papa? <laughs> oh. I think Jillypuff was going off the top anyway, so I think I think he was 100% fine. Yeah, that makes a bit of sense. Doesn't want to play on the Yoshi's hit. Damn. Two puff. Okay, she. Oh. All right. Yeah, you can't be out of the way. Wow. <laughs> How did that not trade? <laughs> Let's go, she. <laughs> that hit sound effect came out and everything. Two Victor Hoyas versus Sheik now. Yeah, we'll see. This Fizzle is, Sheik is solid. This is the hard thing about playing Fizzle. <laughs> you don't know how many different matchups you're going to have to know. I literally would have guessed that he would have gone Donkey Kong over Sheik on this stage. He loves like, to go Donkey Kong on this stage. <laughs> yeah. It's against Peach. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. Yeah, no, Donkey Kong Peach is actually pretty good. Donkey, yeah. Where, like, Donkey Kong can actually kill Peach. Like, it's not good, but, you know, it's not. You got back air, and you have up throw, it confirms, to yeah. kill. Yeah, on the spectrum of Donkey Kong matchups and Donkey Kong stages, this is doable. Maybe but. out of all the really good characters, Peach is probably the one you want the most is Donkey Kong, I yeah. think, over, like, Sheik, Marth, Fox, Falco, like, for sure. Yeah. You don't want any of that. Especially on this stage. You don't want either of them on, or, uh, Fox, oh, yeah. Falco, or Falcon on this stage. Maybe Ooh. on FD. But. I do think I do think Fizzle. I don't know. He's like coming in and because I like this matchup a lot. That, that weight is really good. But. Hits him with the drift. And... Some studio noise. Just a second. You know. All right. <laughs> there was a little elephant in the room. Yep. You know. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, he was trying to roll. You think so? His, I think so. I, think I thought I just his... poked him. I don't know. The last hit of Peach's down smash goes up. Goes out of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's like much better for poking than all the other hits. Yeah, that should be it. That's such a weird. None of that should happen. The Peach should have DI'd to the platform and Fizzle should have up aired. But, yeah, you can't. That was. Wow. If Fizzle did some up airs, you'd get so much percent on this guy. Yeah. They like, when they both want to get back into the zone. They get destroyed for it. If they're both impatient about getting back in after getting hit, they they suffer from it. That's tough. All right, Fizzle looking like he's in control. The better boy between Dirt Boy, Fizzle underscore boy. Yeah. So we'll see where. Well, this is not over. Actually. It's yeah. This is not over at all. I think it will be very soon. But yeah, not yet. Not quite. Because then it just gets really hard to hit Sheik without taking an F tilt or like. Exactly. And she she starts oh. playing Peach's own game. Or she just wants to play the trade game. Oh yeah, no, she can do it very well, especially against Peach, honestly. Right, that's hard mix up. But. Yep. It's scary to just drop down there, but you you have to, right? Yep. So now we'll see if if Dirt Boy tries to counter pick somewhere that puts him back on pub. I don't think he will. Tries to keep him on she. Yeah, this All is right. honestly, yeah, that's. I mean, Fizzle should have. Uh, we'll see what he should have done after this game. Okay, he should have stayed. Yeah. Well, I think he just did not, <laughs> did not want to give Dirt Boy a chance to adapt to anything, which I don't think he's. I mean, even if he loses this game, he's absolutely switching off Falco. So he's trying to trying to keep him guessing. He just played a green Falco. Dirt Boy's ready for this. Yep. Fizzle's Falco is. Um, it's good. He knows what he's doing. It is good, but it's uh, it's odd. <laughs> Against people who are good versus spaces normally, just like outright, uh -huh. it's it's really hard. Yeah. Because like, a laser can be power shielded, just you know from any Falco. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta like this guy's power shields are actually. It seems like he's good versus Falco, like just in general. I think he meant the Nair or something. Yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Yeah. We'll see how it works out. I mean, same stocks, right? Yeah. If he, he keeps coming down like this, like he's just coming down like from a medium to high range with aerials. If Fizzle gets a read on it and figures out how to counter shit, I think he can like look like, look what he's doing. He's just Fizzle loves to do that. Fizzle Fizzle loves to figure you out. Like he's just gonna come in with a fair eventually. Yeah, like Fizzle can't do it that type of shit. That back like, was pretty clever, but he's still gonna die. I love that Peach there just wave dash backs and then down smash is like ah uh, there or something. Screw that. Oh, okay. I don't know why he didn't land he, on that platform. He needs to like up tilt and like... Oh, is that shine? Yeah, it is. I was gonna say he needs to just like up tilt and get him out of there if he's coming in with aerials. But... Oh, I'm surprised he shielded You don't that. want the Peach to land, right? Like, that's the thing. You don't want Peach to land in your zone. You want her to get hit right before the zone or you want to be out of that zone. Yep. You're telling me. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> ah! ah! 
Let's go. I think he might have had a shine there. I'm not Maybe. Sure it would have been close. He could have done up tilt as well instead of shine to, to combo because up tilt's a lot harder to eye. Yeah. We saw him play straight neutral at basically even for about 15 seconds, and then Fizzle just got one exchange and pulled away with it. I mean, soft back air. Look, man, that was I'm a visionary. That side view is terrible. He should have died. Soft back air near would have worked 100%. Nobody holds out. That's Peach. Yeah, that's Peach. When you're like, we you punch them up and they have no jump and you're like running into them. Okay. He, uh, I think maybe wanted to land on Randall. Oh, that's good. To be able to cover the roll in with Shine. Because yep. sometimes people will try to land and then like shield or jump or something. If you're not ready, then maybe there? That looks pretty far up. Maybe. That's an easy downer to hit for him, so he probably could have punched him. Who knows? <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, God. Falco, what? This is, fun. this is no fun. He had a jump, didn't he? Dude, no, not afterwards. He jumped into that somehow. Oh, did he? So, yeah. I here. thought he was just going for one of those new age mix ups. Dude, he's going to go tree blade or something. Oh. Okay. Ready? I sure would think this would benefit Peach more. Just like wonky ass platforms get some weird up smashes, some weird down smashes that like poke and catch jumps and rolls, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't quite get everything. Yeah, I mean. He was doing well versus Puff too. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. He needs to take these opportunities where there's a bit of space to always pull a turnip. Just right, yep, another one. Get another one. Another one. What are you doing fairing him? I feel like it's a matchup you have to be good at if you decide to play Peach. This one? Yeah. Or you could do the other thing and just like not be good at it at all and just complain every time you run into one and just be like, you know what? I think you're right. <laughs> I think you can do that too. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he is trying to do. Oh, is he even gonna kill him? Okay, yeah, good, good, good. He needed to get that kill. If he didn't get that kill, it was all over from there. God, that's just These side bees are supposed to be something. I'm not I'm not sure what that is. Oh, just mash. Peach, you just have to mash Nair there. You don't let. That's what I do with Sheik as well, but Peach is even better at it. Uh -huh. When Puff is, like, up airing you low or, like, doing some bullshit, you have to get a quick aerial out. Otherwise, you don't want her to, like, set up and be able to grab you or, like, you don't want to think about it. You just want to mash it and then get out of there. <laughs> that stuff is always wonky. I never think it's intentional. There's just a chance he up smashes it, and it... I think it usually is not intentional. It's only intentional if it's set up out of rest against this character, right? Or you're like really good. Then it's always intentional. That was a bit, a bit, a bit wishful, I'll say. So are a lot of these pounds, but like, like if you, I actually thought he was gonna get that. Right. I actually thought he was gonna get that rest. Yeah, that was an easy one to get too. It nice. just benefits Puff so much, just being like, just training here. Oh, yeah. This is, this I is, thought he was gonna down smash. This is on the verge of getting out of hand. No, this is already out of hand. Yeah. It doesn't look good. This is. It's still hard as He gotta take his time. And yeah, he's gonna be getting traded and tomahawked. All the way up until... You just have so many more options when you're at lower percent. Like, yep. you just have, like, seven more options. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, just being able to take the hit sometimes when you're at low percent Yeah, is Fizzle's not getting huge. into the zone. He's not He's not, He's not. not falling for any of this down smash baloney. He's nope. not getting in there. No. Nope. He's gonna stay underneath platforms if the Peach is above. Yeah. Yep. Not gonna risk that. There's no way he was jumping there. Eat a 30% down smash for nothing. Can you punish that with the rest? The jump up rest? Yeah. Yeah, I for sure. Down smash. But... I think tight. I think if you crouch it, it's easier. You know, if you don't get shield stunned or anything, because uh -huh. I think he got shield stunned at, at the end of that. Yeah. But if you don't get shield stunned, jump rest. That's kind of is up there a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got a little bit of leniency too, since you have the invincibility. Yep. They could just like mash spot dodge or shield though, which is really bad, especially if you land right above it. 
Because then are, they just like go through and up smash you. Yeah, what do they got like um I think Peach only has like four frames of downtime in between down smashes or something like that. Dude, is Carry sponsored by Gamer enough? That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. Yo, let's go, Carrie. Let's go, Carrie. Carrie, get that schmuck. Carrie's Car about that, dude. Get it. Oh. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is looking over. Fizzler's just gonna wait to do a drill up smash. Yep. Or just keep back airing jumps. It's yeah. like Peach can't close the distance. Like quickly enough, you know what I mean? Like just like. Yeah. Care bracket. Just to see the fuck. That's I mean, darn.